All right, guys, give me 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Office. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know, be shooting the Zoo City Armory 3-Gun next Saturday. Oscar, look forward to seeing you. Uh, Austin, if you're watching the video, we sure like to see you up there. Be a lot of fun. Um, yes, and while we're at it, let's go ahead and give a big shout-out to Callaway Ballistics. If you guys go to kb32tech.com, there's a link over there. Uh, use the word KB32 and you get free shipping with orders over $200. They provide all my 5.56 and my 9mm. I especially, especially love the open tipped 124 grain. And they also have 147 grain, which is really good for the spinners if you have to shoot those. All right, so what are we talking about here? The Supreme Court temporarily blocks ruling opposing Biden's ghost gun crackdown. It's just the world we live in today. It's absolutely disgusting what this guy has done to our country. And it just. I'm, I'm heartbroken and it's depressing to see this, this tyrant, the tyrannic impact that he has and what he thinks he can do and what he he's a, thinks that he is actually above the law. So, uh, this comes by the way of Forbes, uh, breaking news. And this is Antonio Piquinha, the fourth Forbes staff. I cover breaking news is what he says. All right. So let's talk this. The uh, Supreme Court will consider taking up a controversial firearms case after it ordered a one-week stay of the district court's ruling that opposed the Justice Department's sale restrictions on Gus Gun's privately made firearms constructed through components that can be easily purchased online, which President Joe Biden has championed as a major gun control initiative. Okay, so here are the key facts in this thing. The district court's ruling that vacated a rule that updated the definition of firearm to include parts kits will be temporarily blocked until August 4th as the Supreme Court decides if it wants to take up the case. So what does that mean? Well, uh, let's see if I can, I can look around here. Uh, well, maybe not. Yeah, on my desk right here. Uh, this is a grip, right? This is really nice. This is CNC'd uh, some aluminum. It's supposed to feel like steel. But anyway, um, they consider that a firearm. In this ruling, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Biden's administration called for the Supreme Court to block the lower court's ruling Thursday, which issued a nationwide order blocking the firearm definition rule and argued the administration was overstepping its authority by adopting it. Yeah. So this cat pretty much will go around his ass to kill anything that involves firearms. Second Amendment, our freedoms, your freedoms, my freedom. Uh, these guys would rather you cower. And, well, let's just say it, man. They are pro-criminal. They really are. Because why? They're criminals themselves. <laughs> Moving forward, in its request to the Supreme Court, the administration said allowing the district court's ruling to stand would enable an irreversible flow of a large number of untraceable ghost guns in our nation's communities, according to Reuters. Uh, man, so let me ask you guys. I know that I like my ghost guns. I like your ghost guns. I like everybody's ghost guns. But, uh... It does enable criminals to uh, pretty much have an untraceable firearm in the use of a crime. And that's probably the biggest thing is, is, well, our argument could be, well, it's already a crime to commit a crime, to commit a crime. So, yeah, um, <laughs> but it's not illegal for you to fabricate, manufacture your own firearm for yourself. The Department of Justice submitted an application this week asking the lower court's ruling to be blocked. Uh, the DOJ. What's that jackass's name that's in charge of that thing with the whole Biden case? It's just absolutely crazy. It's criticized the ease of obtaining a ghost gun and claimed that kits could allow people prohi prohibited <laughs> excuse me, from buying firearms, such as felons and minors, to do to circumvent the law. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. It calls out. All right. So, crucial quote. The Department of Justice further argued in its application for a state that a lack of records and serial numbers associated with ghost guns undermine the law enforcement's ability to properly track such weapons for crimes. That, in turn, has impaired law enforcement's ability to apprehend violent criminals who may pose an ongoing threat to public safety. Um, I could, yeah, I could actually see that. Uh, but you're... <laughs> It's already illegal for fire, uh, those guys to own guns. Why don't you go after them? Go after them, not the gun. Uh, this is how many, many this is how many requests the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives received from police officers in 2021 to trace ghost guns, a massive jump from the 1,600. All right, so 19,000 requests versus 1,600 requests in 2017. Here's the key background. He states right here. And here's the thing. Any reporter... Anyone in the mainstream media is pretty much anti-gun. I've not met anyone. And they're all like, oh, we're pro-Second Amendment, but... Yeah, 
right. Ghost guns have been sold since the 1990s. Ghost guns. I hate the word ghost guns. Uh, they make it a, it's scary. The scary ghost guns. They're scary. They're going to boo. Scare you. <laughs> Uh, ghost guns have been sold since the 1990s, but the market for them did not significantly increase until or, until around 2009, according to New York Times. Hell, I don't think I ever heard of them back then. I never heard of a ghost gun back then. I know you can make your own gun. Uh, according to the report to ATF, the use of ghost guns in crimes has risen more than a thousand percent. I think crime since 2000 or 1990s has risen to a thousand percent. You know why? Because the current administration. And the left cities, left-leaning cities, they allow crime. They, they encourage crime. It's okay. You can commit crime. It's okay. We do, you're the victim. Okay? You need that toothpaste. <laughs> uh, the report also found within its five-year reporting period that almost a quarter of the guns traced by the ATF were purchased within the past year. Yeah, because everybody's screaming and hollering to get them. And unfortunately, you got bad people getting them. The Department of Justice rule meant to rein in Gus Guns state gun states parts kits that are readily convertible to functional weapons or functional frames or receivers of weapons are subject to the same laws enforced on traditional firearms hmm Let's see does it say anything else no it doesn't it just goes on so here's the deal here's the deal i'm the best there ever was all right i love that one uh go ahead ricky bobby um we'll see how long this lasts I, I don't I don't know how it wor it's going to work, but uh, I, I you know ghost guns it's a scary thing. Hmm. Anyway, I don't have a whole lot of input on this one. Pros or cons. With that being said, you let me know what your thoughts are down below. Sorry for the boring video. I'm trying to get back at it. It's KB32. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform, 24/7 for our freedoms. Freedoms not free. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha.